Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making a classic Sichuan dish, mouth-watering chicken. It's spicy and numbing. The flavor is savory and tangy. We used quite a lot of Sichuan peppercorns in this recipe, so it numbs your tongue and lips, makes your mouth water. That is how we named it. <laughs> if you love spicy food, this is definitely one of those recipes that will catch your taste instantly. Let's start by making the hot chili oil. This is one of the must-have pantry essentials in Sichuan cuisine, and it's easy to make. I always like to combine several kinds of chili powder to find the balance between the taste, the color, and the heat. The first one is mild. It is called Tiao in Chinese. It is for the flavor. Because it is toasty, smoky, and nutty, it's hard to find this specific type of chili in USA, so I will suggest you to use the mild chili powder that you like. The second one is paprika. It's not spicy at all, but it has a bright red color. I like to add it to my chili oil. It makes the color beautiful. The last one is Face Heaven Chili Powder. It's extremely spicy. I use it to adjust the heat. You can use Thai Bird's Eye Chili Powder or Cayenne. In a big mixing bowl, adding one and a half tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn powder, follow up with three kinds of chili powder. The reason we add the Sichuan peppercorn powder first is that it can be covered by other ingredients, so the hot oil doesn't hit it first, or else it will get burned easily and lose the numbing effect. Last is the toasted sesame seeds. Don't use raw sesame seeds here because the hot oil is not enough to activate the nutty taste. In a sauce pot, add in two cloves of garlic, sliced, one and a half inches of ginger, sliced as well, two pieces of scallion, cut into short pieces, a few pieces of bay leaves, a couple of star anise, one piece of cinnamon stick. Pour in one and a half cup of vegetable oil. Use low heat to slowly season the oil. This is gonna take about eight to ten minutes. Once you see the aromatics are slightly charred, take them out. Check the temperature. You want it to go to four hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Pour it into the bowl in batches. Stir the chili powder at the same time. If you've been following my show, you might notice that I have made this chili oil multiple times in the past. The difference this time is that I used fine powder instead of chili flake, so the texture of the sauce will be better because you don't get seeds and flakes flowing around. Let it cool. Keep this in a sealed container. It will last four months at room temperature. Once the chili oil is made. The rest is easy. Normally, we will use a whole chicken, but I don't want to deal with a whole chicken today, and I only serve two people, so I used a big chicken leg. It is about one pound. You can also use boneless chicken breast, which I will talk about it at the end of this video. Two cloves of garlic, sliced. Five to six slices of ginger. Two pieces of scallion. I cut them into short pieces. About one tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorns, one tablespoon of salt. Pour in one to two liters of water, or enough to cover the chicken. Put on the lid. Turn the heat to high. Bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn the heat to low. Simmer for five minutes. Depends on the size of your chicken. You might need to adjust the cooking time. Five minutes later. Turn off the heat. Remove the pot from the stove. Let it sit for five more minutes. Take the chicken out. Put it in a nice bath to stop the cooking process. Also, the chicken skin will become nice and smooth after the ice bath. While waiting, let's make the sauce. In a blender cup, add two slices of ginger, three to four cloves of garlic, half tablespoon of pureed sesame paste. This is what I'm using. If you don't have it, you can use 100% pure peanut butter as a replacement. 
Pour in a quarter cup of the water that we cooked the chicken in. Blend everything together. Pour it into a sauce bowl. Follow up with three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn powder. This is what I'm using. We call it hua jiao in Chinese. It gives you a numbing and tingling effect. If this is the first time you are trying hua jiao, you might want to use a small amount and see how you feel about it. Also, the powder form might be a bit harder to find compared to these whole peppercorns. You can lightly toast them first and then grind it up. It will work the same. Mix the sauce, give it a taste to adjust the flavor. It should be a lot saltier than your normal taste. Now we're gonna add the chili oil. Depends on your preference. I will add a quarter cup. Give it a final mix and set it aside. The chicken is cooled completely. Take it out of the bath. Get a sharp cleaver. Cut the chicken into half of an inch thick pieces. The inside of the bone is still red. That is not blood. It is the marrow. Don't worry. The chicken is safe to eat. As a Cantonese, I grew up with chicken like this, such as white cut chicken, Hainanese chicken. We enjoy a soft, smooth, silky chicken meat. It is our standard. If the marrow is brown, it means the chicken is overcooked. However, I understand. If you prefer to cook it longer, that is your choice. I placed some cucumber shreds on the plate. Put the chicken on top of it. Pour the sauce all over it. Use the spoon to even out the sauce. Make sure every piece of the chicken is covered. Top a little bit of cilantro as garnish. If you order kou shui ji in a restaurant in China, this is exactly how they will present it to you. Lots of red oil. The chicken has the bone and the skin on. Personally, I love the skin. Once you mix it with the flavorful sauce, the taste is ten out of ten. However, I know a lot of people are not used to chicken skin like this, including my husband. So I will show you a different version that I make often to fit his taste. Same as before. You just cook the chicken in the pot with lots of aromatics, then put it in the ice bath. I used the chicken breast this time because it is my husband's preference. You just shred the chicken with your hands. It should be easy. The sauce is the same, but I will use less chili oil this time. Only two tablespoon. Pour it all over the chicken. Mix well. This way, the chicken will be even more flavorful. Add some carrot and cucumber shreds. Mix again. Give it a taste to adjust the flavor. Mine needs a few sprinkles of salt, and you are done. Toss a little more sesame seeds. What a nice-looking mouth-watering chicken salad! It might not look authentic, but the taste is just as good. I always like to encourage people to change recipes based on their preferences. You don't have to follow the instructions exactly. As long as you like the dish, it's a good recipe. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.